Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Onjavine Countryside and the Farmers of Onjavine multiplayer series. So it is March now. Um, on the last episode we got these pig pens installed and I had a bit of an issue with the feed. Um, I've managed to get it fixed but we've had to do a little bit of uh, creative artistry here. Uh, there's a bit of subsidence in the, the yard um, but it's all good. Um, so we've blocked that off. I had to cut down a tree and lose a light as well, but um, we've managed to manage to get it working, which is fine. We have um, tw quite a few new births in here actually, so what I'm going to do is just transfer them across. So, yeah, we'll fill up this trailer first. Uh, move to trailer, okay, and then those ones there as well. Um, so yeah, we'll shuffle these across to the other pen over here, and then yeah, this episode is going to span spring or a good chunk of it. We have a lot to do, um, and I am short of uh, time personally. So we're going to get uh, bits done uh, over the the months of March and April. Um, the best we oh, best we possibly can, um, and within that time we need to do a lot of planting. Uh, so we're going to do lots of planting um, on this episode, but it will probably be over the span of quite a long time. Um, so we will do our best. Um, hopefully it'll be cohesive and it'll make sense. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm quite short of time at the moment. Oh. No. I'm gonna concentrate on this. There we go. All right. Um. Yeah. So we, like I said, I'm very short of time, and yeah, we've got to get um, get a lot of fields uh, planted and sorted. The good thing is that between this, uh, the last episode and this, we got all our lining done. Um, so the fields are completely ready to go uh, and yeah I think yeah we'll probably sell some stuff as well um, just to just to keep us ticking over we've still got 121,000 euros in the, the bank so yeah just keeping the wall from the door so to speak uh, I have a bunch of corn as well that needs to go into the corn dryer I, I re-looked at the corn and actually Um, the the corn itself is uh, actually yeah there's two two times to sell it in the year um, for a good price so if I go down to the dry corn da -da 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 -da. so yeah if I show price fluctuations we'll just go to the letter because that's where I sold it last time um, so July is a good time to sell it as well. Um, so what we'll do is all the corn that we're producing ourselves, we will sell in July, uh, and then we'll then take that uh, money and invest it. But yeah, any s crops we get off uh, other farmers or that we produce ourselves at the end of the year will go and get sold in the winter. So move back to husbandry. So in theory we should be sitting quite nicely oh, sorry. Nicely with the pigs now. There we go. So we just let all these produce and then we're just gonna let these these ones fatten up. Um but yeah, we should should make some money out of that. Tempted to sell the oldest pigs as well. Um, we'll maybe do one more production cycle with them, reproduction cycle with them, and then we'll maybe sell them. Because that's ten grand sitting there, ready to go. So, right. So it is 4:46 in the morning. Um, my insomnia ways of not been sleeping. <laughs> 
and I'm up nice and early sorting the pigs. But uh, yeah, what we'll do next, I'll grab our class trailer, we'll go and grab the corn, and we'll stick that in the corn dryer. Right, what we'll do, we'll see you, yeah, maybe a bit later, and we'll get the get some of the first fields sorted. The fields that I'm looking to get done are all of them, because um, there is nothing in any of them just now, but I think if we look at the planting window, we can plant pretty much anything we want just now, so I'm going to put some oats in and I'm probably going to put, yeah let's have a look, yeah we'll maybe put some oats and some, in fact probably just the oats, yeah let's just get the oats in and then that should do us nicely. Okay folks it is uh, 13th of March and we are yeah we're doing okay I've got the sunflowers into the ground the thing that I haven't done is uh, got the oats into the ground um, yeah I decided to put some sunflowers in because our sunflower production has run out but I did get in touch with Mikey and Mikey said that I was more than he was more than happy for me to buy his uh, cedar so you might be wondering why I'm in a Fence 716 as well. Well, it came up in the deals, 45% off, and it was 98,000 euros. So I decided to buy the bullet. So this this bad boy is. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, slightly less horsepower than the Fiat, but drives a whole lot smoother, and it can be upgraded to well over 200 horsepower so um, I think yeah it's a good investment um, and yeah it just it feels a lot nicer to drive <laughs> so uh, got the weight for it as well so yeah it's all, all working quite nicely um, so what we'll do we'll take this pretty sure this is the direct drill as well so we should be able to get some some of our uh, some more of our fields done. Now I know it is dark, but um, yeah, just as it is with uh, the time I can play on this map just now, um, it's going to have to be done in the dark. But that's fine. Um, hopefully it'll come out okay on the video once I've recorded it. So I'm going to turn this to oats. And there is seed in here already, but I will replace anything I use. Right, turn in just here. Okay. So, the fields I'm going to do... Oh, instantly, I did have to take out a little bit more of a loan as well, so I took out some more money, so we're up to 470,000 on a loan but that's okay um, it will get paid off this year I promise so as you can see 43 has now got sunflowers in it and yeah a bit of a false read in that because there's nothing in these fields they've just been there uh, they are ready to plant so I'm going to put oats in this one and this one and then I'm going to put soya beans in this one and this one and then obviously we're going to put corn in these three so it's not the time of year to plant soya beans or corn, so we will get uh, the oats in just now. So field 45 and 41, which are these two? So I did roll the other field as well, the sunflower field, at least a roller for that. Um, and I will do the same for this as well. And let's get ourselves lined up. Need it down, and away we go. Nice. It is just about pulling this, which is good. So, like I said, yeah, doing this in the dark is not great, but um, 
here, we will do as best we can uh, with the time we've got. Let's reverse that up. Great thing about soybeans as well, they won't take uh, any nitrogen as well, so for us it's going to save on a uh, fertiliser as well. But yeah, once these are in, we will get them rolled and then what I'm going to do is wait until the greenery shoots through and then we will get them fertilised and hopefully that will give us a better score as well. But yeah, this field here is going to be soybeans. So yeah, I mentioned at the start of this episode that yeah, I'm incredibly busy. Um, so yeah, as of today, um, we'll be packing up and going down to the Lake District. Um, lovely place. I've not really visited much in my lifetime, um, but yeah, I'm going to go and do a load of uh, hill walking, mountain walking down there, uh, and then yeah, I will be back on the Friday. This is coming out on Sunday. Um, and then, yeah, the week after that I have my HGV licence, so again, yeah, I probably won't be able to record much that week either, because um, I need to have my wits about me to do that. So, yeah, all in all, the next two weeks are going to be pretty empty videos, I'm afraid. Having I mean, said that, I have done sort of the intros for all three um, maps series so far, so um, they are are in the pipeline but yeah in the actual time to record with my voice is yeah not gonna happen I don't think as I said I usually record late at night I said that today I'm recording really early in the morning So it's not going to take us too long to get these uh, these two fields done, I don't think. Um, but yeah, the main thing I think is if I can get them done and then squared away, then start growing, and we're all good for until April, pretty much. Then in April we'll get the the soybeans and the the, the corn plant in there. There are two big cash crops this year. The reason I'm doing the oats here is yes I could supply a couple of guys on the map with some oats uh, but the real reason is to get straw and uh, with that straw I can actually yeah, start making manure for the pigs which will be a little bit more profitable for me. I've got a good stack of uh, products to sell as well. Our sunflowers, as I said, have kind of run out, um, so yeah, that production chain is now turned off. Um, but the potatoes have still got a little way to go. There's a little bit of sugar beet left in there as well, so I'll still keep keep going. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, the corn dryer will get switched on as well um, to produce some dry corn for July. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep going with this, and I think yeah, there's not much more of this field actually, not much more at all. But yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I was looking at obviously farming simulator news. Um, was the game cons just on just now, and yeah, they've just released a trailer for the platinum edition, and. It does look good. 
Um, I'm really looking to forward to seeing what the forestry is all about in uh, the Platinum Edition. It does look quite interesting. And uh, I think, yeah, future series, when that does come out, uh, it's not till November, but um, when that does come out, I think I might do a forestry only series at some point. Um, I'm well aware that while I was away on holiday, I, I brought out a sneaky trailer of um, Prospector Roleplay. And I still want to do that, um, but I think I might leave it till then. Um, it was yeah, it was an idea I had, um, and I really just don't have the time to to do another series, especially a roleplay series where I've got to do lots of, lots of bits of additional stuff off screen. So I think. Yeah, it'll have to be shelved for now, and we'll come back to it in November. Um, the other thing is, uh, Attingham Park is going to come out very, very soon. And if uh, if you haven't seen it in FS19, I did a survival role play on that series uh, on that map as well. And uh, yeah, it would be good to go back on that map and start that series up again. So I think <coughs> once this comes to an end, one of these series comes to an end, then we may bring that back. Um, but again, it is a lot of work, so yeah, I'll need to cut back on yeah, maybe one or two of these series first um, before I start something like that. But what I've noticed this last year since coming out of lockdown, I've been incredibly busy and it's incredibly hard to keep up with everything so um, yeah, the videos are getting slightly harder to produce all the time but I'm not going to stop do enjoy it and uh, yeah we'll just find the time when we can I apologize if uh, it feels like yeah you're losing interest because you're not seeing enough videos and things like that um, it's just the way of it Well, we're doing all right here. I think last bit of this field, and then yeah, when we get down this field, then obviously we'll cross over our little uh, driveway, and we'll get the next one done. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I think yeah, you can probably see most of the stuff as we're doing this. It's not too dark. But our seed rate's quite high on this field just because of the the soil type. That's the issue. Then um, we're into silty clay here for a lot of it. Which means our yield won't be massive on this, but um, it'll be better than nothing. And like I said, the straw is going to be really, really handy for us. What is going to be a big job is the corn, um, because my planter is tiny and I don't actually have a tractor that's powerful to pull anything that's much bigger <laughs> so um, we are going to struggle a little bit with that it might take some time or I might have to get someone in as a contract to help me with that um, because yeah, it's going to take a little while I think but it feels good to be getting some crops in the ground most, most of the other guys on the map at the moment have got everything everything in they needed to get in before the winter so I'm kind of on catch up a little bit I know my good friend Cobbler Farms is on a bit of catch up as well he's had problems with his uh, controller his uh, PS5 controller so he's not been able to record or do much on any game really because it just it was the controller was making it unplayable and I've had exactly the same problem actually I'm now using my Xbox One controller because the right analog stick was veering to the right constantly. I've tried resetting it, updating it, everything, and it's yeah, it's basically broken. So um, luckily, I had this the Xbox One control, which was still compatible with the new consoles. So that was definitely a good thing. But um, 
I do notice a little bit of a, a whistling humming noise coming from the headphones so I'm pretty sure that's going to translate into the sound quality on these videos as well so again sorry so nearly there look at this managed to chat through a whole field that's impressive for me Good. So, what we'll do, we shall continue on with this planting and get this uh, this uh, oat, these oats drilled, and then yeah, we'll come back when I'm ready to roll. I think and do the rolling next and get. Uh, get that done. Right, see you in a little bit. It'll probably be closer to dawn than it was, is just now as well. So yeah, and yeah, I'll probably lease a roller again. Um, we'll have a look at the horsepower uh, requirements and see how big we can go. And then hopefully, yeah, we'll get that done and then we're ready to go need some growth. Okay, we have all our two fields uh, are now planted with oats. Looking at them, yeah obviously the nitrogen is pretty bad on them but uh, yeah we're sitting on 89% yield potential which isn't too bad. I didn't think it would be any more than that to be fair but we'll do. I have released least this um, so this is 160 horsepower to use so I think we'll do the job um, but yeah it's a good working width so we should be able to get these fields done quite quick and then yeah I was hoping to do this a little bit later um, uh, or when the Sun came up a little bit more but yeah I thought well we may as well just get it done plus I've got pressure pressure to get at the house as well so um, yeah we need to, need to just finish this episode but yeah we'll get this done and then what I did as well off camera I sold um, our sunflower oil so that's given us uh, about £10,000 worth of income which is quite handy um, and then obviously to lease this, rent this it was about just uh, just over 2000 to rent this Ironically, on the tractor front, um, there's a Massey Ferguson 6S uh, in the bargains just now, and yeah, it would have been uh, would have been able to get more horsepower for my money, but never mind, not to worry. I quite like the Fent tractors, and I don't use them that much, so it's quite nice to uh, nice to use these. Tractors definitely struggles a little, little bit going uphill with these uh, these machines, but uh, it's doing okay on the flat. So I think yeah, we're just at our yeah threshold for horsepower. Yeah, like I said, nice big working width on this, so it should take us too long to get this done. Maybe do our headland actually. And then that just gives us a bit more a bit more room to play with. Actually, yeah, it's running at the speed of the speed of the implement, which is fine. Uh, yeah, nice full moon, that always helps, doesn't it? Ok, 
Okay, time to go up and down. I'm not going to do a time lapse on this episode. I'll just uh, we'll just keep keep doing the field work, and then yeah, when I come back from all my busyness in real life, then yeah, we'll get back to the sort of the regular format. I know some people don't like a time lapse um, or a musical interlude in an episode, but um, quite often for me it's quite a good way of doing it because it means I don't have to have the mic on I can record a big chunk of an episode um, and the family's in the room and stuff like that the other big thing that came out this week was um, the uh, Pepe978 brought out the Grimmy Potato pack um, which was in FS19 um, and I used it on Little Norton and it's, it's a great little great little set of equipment. I was toying with the idea of using it on my um, my organic root challenge setup and I still might. Um, big big thing is obviously I've got the sea potato mod installed on there and there's yeah everything that I need for the for what I'm doing is in that pack. So um there are some nice trailers though, like the trailers in there and um yeah they've got some he's put some good conveyor belts in that pack as well so yeah we'll we'll have a look. Um it's quite a big download though, it's like 119 megabytes I think download so it's it's quite a big file but um yeah Ooh. We'll see. And if you've not checked out the No Man's Land Build It Challenge for a while, yeah, things are really progressing with that. Um, yeah, quite happy with the progress. And yeah, I've got a lot of things built. And between uh, the last episode I did and now, <coughs> excuse me, and now there is um, yeah, I've built quite a bit more, but. Um, I'm just trying to get as much built on that map before I start planting crops but I think next episode we will plant some crops um, and I'm not going to reveal which one yet because it kind of uh, will ruin what I've built uh, off screen between the last episode and whatever we do on the next one but uh, yeah. yeah really really enjoying that challenge so good don't forget to check out Mike's uh, Mike Maples, uh, Rusty Money Gaming's fantastic farming simulator challenges Facebook page. Um, if you sort of need an inspiration on how to sort of spice up the game a bit, there's so many great challenges on there, and um, it's a fantastic community as well. So check them out. Right, I think done quite a lot of waffle and chat this episode but that's fine sometimes it's nice to do that um, and I think what we'll do we'll continue on with this we'll get the rest of these fields uh, rolled and then yeah next episode we'll probably move into April we'll get the rest of the crops planted so we'll need to plant our soybeans and we'll need to plant our corn and I might see if I can draft someone in to help me with that. Um, like I said my little four meter planter is not going to cut the mustard really for some of the, si the size of the fields we to do so it'll take forever. So we'll see if we can uh, draft someone in to give us a hand with that. Um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed it. Got, um, a fair bit done, a couple more fields have been planted which is good. And um, yeah, I think yeah we'll probably sell some more produce next time as well. Um, and yeah, we'll see where the pigs are at as well. We might be able to sell some pigs, which would be good. But been waiting for the sun to come up all episode, and it's finally coming up, and we're finishing. <laughs> So, 
I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share or comment, you're more than welcome to. What we'll do, we'll just finish off this this field and then we will sign off. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the chat. And yeah, we will see you probably in a couple of weeks on this map. Um, and yeah, we will continue on and see where we get to. I meant to tell you actually, let's have a quick, quick look on here. Great, great wee tractor, I love it. Uh, I meant to show you on here. Where is it? There. Farming Sims has built a ginormous grape vineyard on field one and two. I just drove past it uh, when I went and picked up the roller and it's looking massive. If we give you a quick update, this is a state of play with uh, land ownership just now. Obviously purple is the Bank of Andrine, which is the foresty areas pretty much. Uh, but yeah, cobbler's expanded quite a bit right out of here. Uh, Mikey has expanded loads, which is amazing. This bit down here is Farmer Murphy's uh, cow farm and extra field. And then he's got all this top half here and he's expanded out the way a little bit here as well. Farm some snowy is down here still and he's kind of still quite compact. Um, not been on the map that much but uh, I know he's a very very busy man. And then yeah, the farming sims could probably buy the rest of the map just now but he's re uh, he's decided that he's just going to play cooperatively and help lots of people out which is amazing and he has actually left this space free for someone to join the map if they really wanted to but I'd imagine these will get gobbled up pretty soon. My plan is probably if I can buy this field I will. I could do it now but I'm, I leave me quite short of money um, and potentially buy a couple of these fields but we'll see what Farmer Murphy does as well. This one has already got canola in it which would be quite handy but it is uh, 84,000 euros to buy so we might have to just uh, forget about that just now. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, we will see you next time on the Farmers of Angevin um, for some more farming fun. Take care of yourselves and all the best.